Hello guys, welcome to my channel Love to Learn. Today in this video, I want to discuss about topic how to handle exceptions in Spring Boot. Okay. First of all, there are two types of exception handling. One is global and one is customized exception handling. First of all, let's go to our Spring Boot application. Guys, I have already created a application name Spring Boot CRUD Operations where in my controller I have different methods for saving data, getting data, get data by id, delete, delete data by id, okay? And I want to get my data using id, okay? I'm running my application, it is launch on localhost a 0 and I'm now I am trying to get my data using id. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, I got an internal server error. Why? And let's see what happens here. Hey, I am getting exception that no such element exception, no value present. Okay, now I want to delete some data using my ID. I am passing an ID name to. And now again I am getting an error. And here again, let's see what happens. I am getting an exception, empty result data access exception. I want to handle all these exceptions. How I can handle all these exceptions? Okay. I have two ways. Actually, I got exception when using get and delete. Okay. I can handle all, all two exceptions using global exception handler. And I can create a customized method for each of them. For delete method and get method also. First of all, I will show you how to create a global exception handler. Yeah, first of all, let's create a package, guys. Package dot exception. Okay. And let's create a class here. Okay. Exception handler. I want to name it exception handler. Okay. And my class is created. I want to place an annotation here, which is controller advice. What is this controller advice? Yep, let's see. First of all, let's import this annotation. Okay, good. It is imported. And it is nothing but it is a specialization of other component annotation, which allows us to handle exceptions across whole application in global handling component. Okay, means this application, this annotation lets us to handle exceptions globally in a whole project. Okay. And let's extend response entity exception handler to it. Exception handler. Okay, and let's import it. Now I want to create a method here, okay, which handles our global exception, public, final, I want my return type as response entity. Guys, if you don't have about response entity, don't, no worries guys, if you find my playlist, you can find why the response entity and in that video, I explain an example using response entity, okay, and I want my method name to be handle global exception. Okay, and which have parameter is exception. Okay, and now I want to return my data. Return new response entity. Object. No data. Okay. I want to give a message like I want to handle exception globally. And I want to give a status for each, which is HTTP status dot. I want to give it as like bad request, okay? 
and let's save it now and I, I forgot to place give annotation here which is exception handler okay guys it says that it this method is exception handler okay let's save this now and let's rerun our application once okay folks now it is running okay now i again want to get my data using get by id let's see what happens okay okay first of all i want to get my id get my data using get my id okay if you observe guys i am getting a message i want to handle exception globally and i am getting the status code as 400 bad requests okay let's see what happens for delete yep I'm getting the same message. I mean, every exception is handling here by whom? By global exception handler. Now, what I want to do? I want to, I want to customize that exception. Okay. I think uh, you guys have a clarity about this global exception, and now I want to show you about the customized exception handler. exception for get by ID method. Okay. Actually, no, I'm using global exceptions to handle the exception which occurred by get by id when there is no value which we passed but i want to create a custom exception for it first of all i want to create a class yep class name is custom exception for get by id okay and now my class is created i want to replace some variables here the variables are private string message and private string description okay folks and now i want to extend it to runtime exception run time exception okay and i want to create some setter getters and constructor for it let's create some setter getters for it okay select or click on generate okay setter getters are created and i want to const create some constructor using fields and constructor without fields and twisting method okay and let's save it once I want to create here under method sorry on the class yep, my class name is error details okay and i want to declare some string to variables here private string message and private string description okay guys okay and let's generate set getters for it too and after generation of set getters let's generate constructor using fields also and select all click on select all click on generate and let's generate constructor using fields generate and constructor without fields and twisting method okay let's save it now and i want to create a method here for handling this custom exception okay and let's create it now public panel response entity object up type object
handle custom exception it is my method name guys and my parameters are exception okay and I want to give this an annotation which is a direct exception handler and I want to mention a name for it which uses for handling our custom exception custom exception for get by id okay dot class okay it's done and let's create a constructor for error details equal error equal to new error details it is for storing for storing exception details sorry guys i forgot one thing here i want to view custom exception for get by id as i want to handle exception based on customized class so i am give i want to give here custom exception for get by id okay and ex dot get message comma ex dot get description okay and now i have to i have to return what i have to return response entity okay return new response entity of object ex comma http status dot bad request okay and guys let's save it once and i want to make some changes here and guys and i want to save something here it is er not ex okay as i am throwing uh, error details from here and as i am handling my exception for get book by id and i want to make some changes here what are the changes means i want to throw some code sorry i want to change some code for returning exception yeah i will say what is it guys i have written a logic right if there is no book in the list i want to throw some customized exception okay i think you guys got it no book based on id okay and it is custom exception let's save it guys now and let's call the get book by id method now yep i think i want to rerun it once yep now my application is rerunning guys let's go to our postman and uh, let's call book based on id okay okay guys uh, let's call it yep it is sending a request guys if you observe i got a message and description no book based on id and it is custom exception i think you guys got it Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel.